Are we excited? Yay! Very, very excited. <laughs> I've had zero sleep and it's daft o'clock in the morning again. But hey, we're on our way. Where are we going? It's a secret. I'll let you know in a minute. Thank you very much, Steve, for bringing us a song. No problem. Good lad. <laughs> Heavy bags. He's even getting the bags out for us. He's a good lad. Not a lot of room. Brenda's got more because she's only little. <laughs> as you can see, there was not a lot to see as we took off from Newcastle Airport. But flying into Alicante three hours later looked much more promising, didn't it? We certainly came down with a big bump. It wasn't the best landing I've ever had in the world, and I had to beep out a few sweary words. Yay, we have some sunshine. It's not very warm at the moment, right? Good, hang on. Come on, old woman. Let's go and find that block. So, what are you thinking of the lovely Spanish weather then, Brenda? Oh, it's a bit wet. <laughs> Wet and wild. Wet and wild it is today. Uh, to be honest, I feel like a gypsy. Fish like a mm. Very nice. What have we got? Squid. <laughs> and octopus. Oh, and, and octopus. <laughs> This is not the type of thing I normally have, octopus, but hey ho, let's have a go, let's give it a go. Octopussy. <laughs> so we now have the tomato soup, or a tin of Jolux. Brenda has got the uh, consumer with uh, a bull's bollock in it or something. <laughs> Into it, man. <laughs> Dig in. Oh, what's oh. this? What's this uh, bull's bollock thing there? That looks all right. Oh, it's quite nice. What's it like, Mick? Cold. <laughs> cold. I didn't know it was going to be it's... cold. <laughs> mm. It is very nice, though. You've had. I think I think the bird seed in the top is particularly nice. <laughs> Them kitty works get all over the place. <laughs> so what are you been ordering now, Brenda? Some knuckles. Pig's knuckles. Pig's knuckles. <laughs> I've, I've got a filo of fish with chilies. That's very nice, Brenda. See how it goes. Get into it. I'll knuckle on. So what did you think of your pig's knuckle then, Brenda? Is that where I am? Pig's knuckle, yeah? Never. Don't forget the marabone on the back, turn it round. Go on, eat the marabone. Go on. No. <laughs> no. And the sun has finally come out. <laughs> I don't know what you were whinging at, it's scorchy or now. What's this tree? What tree? <laughs> Restaurant in Manolo, if that's the right way to say it. It was really nice, the food, but it didn't have to kill me later in the night. <laughs> so, uh, we asked for uh, some beers. He said, do you want a bucket of beer? I said, what's a bucket of beer? He said, it's literally a, a bucket, bucket of beer. beer. <laughs> <laughs> Ten euros for six bottles of San Miguel. That can't be bad, can it? And this is our lovely little street for the next seven days. The next morning. Well, I've got myself a little decaf, but it doesn't apparently, apparently it doesn't appear to be doing anything. Ow! That's up, bro. <laughs> Beans in a pot, what do you think? Yes Claire. or no? What do you think? Um, You're not Claire, right? No, I'm just thinking. <laughs> well. 
Obviously, you can't come to Spain without visiting a beach or ten. This is just another one of the many, many beaches that are dotted along this beautiful coastline. We do have a friend with us, but he's being very shy at the moment. He's being very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we are at Lazenia Beach. Uh, sun's came out, lovely and warm, and it's uh, nice and peaceful. There's plenty on the beach. People having a nice play. And the uh, lucky man's just walked past. I'm seeing that. We had a lovely walk around all the coves and secluded little beaches. Of course, I had the wrong sandals on, which uh, Brenda liked to remind me of, and I ended up with a nasty little blister. Anyway, we jumped back in the car and we headed off to a little town called Terra de la Horadada. I hope I've pronounced that right. So as you can see, we've got the local map here, and uh, we're way down here, and you can go all the way up to Aravillaca. It's actually, it's in Braille, so let's have a look. No, it's in Spanish. No good. <laughs> Well, we sat and had a little beer overlooking the marina and the beach, and I'm pretty sure I went onto the beach and recorded it, but no video exists. We're in a lovely little square in uh, a place that I can't pronounce the name of, but our local sponsor is going to tell us how to say it. It's called La Torre de la Horadada. <laughs> <laughs> hostess with the mostess has made us a beautiful salad with homemade mayonnaise as well. We did go to a quiz on the night. See if you can do any better than us. Let us know in the comments. For some reason I've got that song in my head. Do you know the way to San Jose? Anyway, we're going to a garden centre to pick <laughs> some plants. <laughs> Oh, look, monkeys. Now, you know we won't get them on the train. On the plane, don't we? <laughs> I did the same as well. Oh, these are all Have you knocked it over? Is no. that you? No, watch the <laughs> It's so beautiful and the prices are so good. Really amazing. So look at the price of these. So amazing. I would have loads of these. <laughs> so good. Even these over here. like a nobly one. <laughs> three pound fifty. Three euros fifty. So good. And they even flower over here. Hey, look at the ones underneath the table. You're trying to do a calendar's girl program. Calendar. Calendar girl. <laughs> we don't get them to flower at home. Brenda. Look, we're not going to get these in the suitcase. We can't. We don't live here. Come on. We can't. Leave them. No, Come on. No. Put them in. <laughs> we are here on holiday in the lovely Spain, and today we're going to try this. How do you pronounce it? Perlum Bacher or Perlum Bacher? Not really sure how it's pronounced. Anyway, it's a. Uh, it's only two point two point five percent. Because it's only early in the day, you don't want to be drinking this early, do you? It's only about half eleven or something like that. And it's like a lager and lime, or lager and lemon, or something. So, yeah, let's have a try of this. Oh, then pour it for me, be a wench. A big pack. Oh, she's taking her time. 
Right, let's have a try. We've got our second uh, cameraman at work in the distance over there as well. It's really nice actually, very refreshing. Definitely recommend it, especially at this time of the day. Right, let's get me boobs out. <laughs> so it's time for beer number two of the day and incidentally it's shirt number two of the day as well. I've brought these shirts so I'm definitely going to use them and today we have, well today, later in this day we have Estrella Galicia, I believe it's pronounced and it is 5.5 .5, I do believe. I'm hoping it's a darker beer, I don't really know so Let's crack it open and have a look. Come on, put some effort into it. Well, I don't use it my left hand. Is it dark? No, it's not. That bloody cream is filming me from all directions, yeah. getting me big fat belly and You'll notice I'm uh, keeping well above the belly. Uh, trying to hide the moobs as well. So let's give it a try. Have you ever had a Spanish beer? Well, it tastes like all of them. <laughs> They all taste pretty much the same to me. It is a bit stronger. Uh, you can actually taste beer, so it's a bit better this one. But it's still next to nothing. How much did it cost? No idea. I think we got six cans or... No, it was in that little box, wasn't it? It wasn't much. Uh, it's always cheap in supermarkets. Anyway, cheese me dears. We've just had a look at the receipt and it was only uh, 84, 85 pence per can, so you can't complain, can you? It's waiting for the rock band to come on. <laughs> we had a brilliant laugh watching this fella sing. He was so funny, but what a great singer. Snake Ips was giving it some too. What are we having? What the hand is it? Ah, oh, that's the first one. What a good one. It's a bit late for steak, a bit of blue, do you? <laughs> no. Well, we've been spoiled again. We're getting some lovely meat. It's not, no, it's not red wine time. No. <laughs> Surely not. <laughs> Brenda having a red wine. I'll be having a big sleep in a minute. So bright and early the next morning with no hangover, we decided to have another okay. little trip out to another seaside town. Torrevieja was the uh, destination this time. We've never been here before. In fact, we've never been to any of these places before. Like most of the places around here, we've got another beautiful uh, seaside town with a beautiful promenade and a uh, little street set back where we're gonna go off and find some food later. We're gonna go and find a statue. It's famous, apparently. <laughs> Torrevieja is a city in Spain's southern eastern Alicante province on the Costa Blanca. It's known for its Mediterranean climate and coastline. The promenades run along the sandy resort back beaches. Flattering angle. Until the 1800s, Torrevieja was nothing more than random cottages and desolate dwellings near an ancient guard tower, which gave the town its name, Torre Vieja, which is Spanish for Old Tower. It was a bit windy, as you can hear, and I'm sorry for not putting my microphone on. I was a little bit hungover, but as you can see, it didn't really stop anybody getting on the beach. It was still hot enough that that Mediterranean still looked quite inviting. We were getting a bit hungry now, so it was time to trot off to the back streets and try and find something a little bit cheaper than the seafront. Nice 
birds and turn over here. Oh, then, Brian, I found where we're going. I found where we're going. Uh, yeah, are you coming? Crack on, lad. I'm crack on. <laughs> Gonna get bread? Uh, egg salad. Something different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what's going on in the background there, but they're having a really good time. And the food looks really delicious. We'll see what ours is like. Huh? B is ordered at the moment. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Is it what you were expecting? Yeah, of course it is. It's nice. We've really enjoyed it in this bar. It's a Bulgarian owned bar in Torovica. Really good fun. The food was super. I know we just had absolutely loads to eat there, but it's ice cream time now. Let's look at this, see what's in the menu. Go on then. <laughs> Is there enough to choose from? <laughs> uh, what are you going to have? Nice. Oh, it looks nice. So we just wanted a small little ice cream after our big meal. <laughs> Look at the size of this. Let's enjoy it. <laughs> well, it was hard work, but I feel we've eaten it all. And uh, my claws seem to be shrinking as well. Right, that's it for part one of our little adventure to Spain. Keep a lookout for part two, three and four. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up, ring the bell. Please subscribe and we love you all. Catch you next time.